Hey guys, it's I, Nate Dunning Films, back again for another video. Today I am back to showcase part one, video one, of my entire Blu-ray collection. This will be a two-part video. It's going to be very long. So if this doesn't interest you, I would highly recommend you just skip the next two videos. Again, a two-part video. We're going to be getting to this right here and at least these four shelves today. All right, let's first start out here with the Friday the 13th and the Halloween box set from Scream Factory. Uh, my two favorite slasher franchises and two of my favorite box sets that I own. Now next to that are actually two DVDs, but those are His Name Was Jason and Halloween 25 Years of Terror. Next to that is Halloween and Halloween Kills on 4K. I actually kept the slipcase for Halloween 2018 on Blu-ray, but that is actually the 4K. Next to that is Crystal Lake Memories on Blu-ray, and two fan films, really good fan films at that. Never Hike Alone and Never Hike in the Snow. Next to those is the complete collection of the Universal Classic Monsters. Another really great box set. If you don't own this, I highly recommend it. It's got everything, and I mean everything. Great box set, highly recommend it. Next up, we're going to go here to the newest 4K box set for Resident Evil. I really love the bloodied packaging and the Umbrella Corporation logo. Under that, we have Arrow Videos, the Scarlet Trilogy box set for Hellraiser. That's Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3. And next to that, Puppet Master, the complete 12 Blu-ray collection. Next up here, we have Criterion Collections, the Showa era, the Showa era. Godzilla collection. This is in sort of a big giant book form. And next up here we have Arrow Videos collections here of Critters, The Omen, The Fly, and Wreck. And because it's an another kind of hard title, hard case collector's edition, I have Creep Show up here as well. Now I cannot say anything about The Omen, The Fly, or The Wreck collection. I have actually not checked those out yet. I have checked out the Critters Collection. Excellent update with the picture, with the quality-wise. I think it was a, a 2K scan. It might have even been a full 4K scan for Critters Running 2. So I highly recommend getting the Critters box set. All right, so now that I moved all the box sets, let's get on to the first shelf here. First up is the 4K release of The Addams Family, the very first movie. Really great release, really great upgrade from the standard Blu-ray. And of course, the Adams Family Values, which in some ways I kind of prefer over the first film. This again is just the standard Blu-ray. We have the newest um, animated Adams Family. I, you know, it is what it is. It's kind of more of a family film, so I kind of enjoyed it, though. I can't lie. Um, the Atoning, which again is still in the shrink wrap. Don't know too much about this movie. Um, the Apparition, which I remember watching back in the day and... I kind of remember liking it, the first Anaconda film. Um, I'm not really big into the sequels, so I just simply have Anaconda. We have American Psycho. I know there's a 4K out there of this film. Don't know, honestly, if I'm going to pick it up and, and ever upgrade, but you never know. American Psycho 2. I mean, come on, horrible movie. American Mary is really an underrated classic. Um, I would highly recommend this one if you guys are looking for a really cool movie on a Saturday night with some friends. American Gothic. And another really underrated film, which is unfortunately backwards here, but uh, As Above, So Below. This is a very good, well done movie. Uh, very claustrophobic, very scary. This, check out. That's As Above, So Below. We have an unopened copy of The Andromeda Strain which I've actually not seen. I've never seen the Andromeda Strain, so. Next up is a Christmas horror story. You know, honestly, not a, not a bad film in general, and I've actually added it into my Christmas watch list one Christmas, so I'd recommend it. We got the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. This is the MVD edition. And of course, Arrow's version of um, Return of the Killer Tomatoes. I was almost gonna say Revenge but that's Return of the Killer Tomatoes. And of course, Arrow's 
Alice, Sweet Alice release. Uh, this movie, uh, I've seen it. This is an unopened copy. It's probably going to stay unopened. I did not enjoy this film at all, but this is anti-birth. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Next up, we have Amusement, which, you know, this film flopped horribly back in the day, 20 years ago or so. I don't find it bad. It's the ending that really does it for me. Uh, an unopened movie here, Apartment 143. You can say I paid $3 for it at Big Lots. Another unopened movie, Atomica. Another $3 Big Lot movie buy. Uh, Accidental Exorcist. You know, this is one of those movies I think I bought for really cheap. And I've still not watched it despite it being opened. It was used. And here's another one that uh, people kind of laughed at and joked about and you know it's one of those movies i kind of enjoyed and that's abraham lincoln vampire hunter here is the steelbook from scream factory of assault on precinct 13 um really love this steelbook it's it's one of my favorites i think i have more of scream factory steelbooks and of course their uh april fool's day release complete with slip here's the 4k of air force one really great movie I've seen this movie, but my copy is unopened. This is All Cheerleaders Die. Cool movie. It's, again, one of those that I would put in on a Saturday night with some friends. And then uh, The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Okay, so let's head down to this shelf. We have Alone in the Dark, one of my more newer releases. Here's a two-pack of A Quiet Place 1 and 2. I still actually have yet to see the sequel. A really great classic, Arachnophobia. Obviously, anybody with arachnophobia should not watch this film. And, of course, the 70s classic Animal House with John Belushi. Uh, a Dark Song. Now, this is one I've contemplated on, contemplated on opening and watching. It seems like a very interesting movie, um, but I've not seen that. Still in the shrink wrap. Uh, Anatomy 1 and 2. I think these are German films. I have also... These are still... This is still in the shrink wrap. Never seen... Um, but I, I believe they're from Germany. Of course, the classic Airplane 1 and 2. And the Austin Powers triple feature. Got to have Austin Powers in your collection. Now, I'm not going to pull these out, but you can see this is Scream Factories, the Amityville Horror Trilogy, and Vinegar Syndromes. Uh, I don't remember what they called this release. I think there was a... Yeah, the Cursed Collection. That's a really cool set. We've got the Amityville Remake which I've actually never seen, believe it or not. Um, now this one, Amityville, The Awakening, was one of those movies that I was really hoping to enjoy. And to be honest, I really didn't. Wasn't bad, um, but it certainly wasn't great. And I think it was overhyped a little bit. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. And of course, we have the very newest one, Amityville, The Amityville Murders, which I was also not a big fan. To be fair, only the first two Amityville films are really the best of the franchise anyway. Here's Arrow's 4K release of An American Werewolf in London, as well as the 4K release of Apocalypse Now. I'm really not a fan of this, um, uh, the, the, the case in and of itself they used for this release, but uh, Bong of the Living Dead. This was this was a really fun one. Again, another one you, you put on a, on a Friday night with some friends, and uh, Arrow's bloody birthday release, and... Uh, I think there's Vinegar Syndrome, Bloody New Year. All right, let's move down here to the Banana Splits movie. What a strange movie. Like, let's be fair here. Uh, Big Top Evil, which I actually, I don't know. For a low-budget indie film, I kind of like this one. Of course, the classic Brain Scan. The triple feature of Blade. Bought this, I believe, Black Friday Walmart in... 2017 I want to say as you can still still in the shrink wrap with the promo sticker on it and the 4k release of Beetlejuice another one of my favorite 4k restorations highly recommend picking this up if you're going to upgrade Baskin which I've actually not seen yet it's unopened but I've not seen it and this was one a lot of people hated I thought it was just simply okay the bye bye man which is also signed and you guys are going to ask well who signed it and I have absolutely no clue. I don't remember at all. Another film unopened I've yet to see. The Barons. Bloodbeat, which was one of the strangest movies I've ever seen. Let's just put it that way. 
And we've got Bloodhook, another strange one. This is another Vinegar Syndrome release. We have Body Bags, John Carpenter's Body Bags. Really great, one of my favorite John Carpenter films, actually. We have The the Boy, which I, I, I think I've seen once, and that was it. And then we have the more famous The Boy, and then uh, which uh, the sequel I've not seen, and that's The Boy 2, Bram's The Boy 2. I um, believe it's still in the shrink wrap. The classic Black Christmas, Scream Factory release. I bought this uh, last Christmas with the intention of watching it. This is the newest, I think 2019 remake, still in the shrink wrap. Like I said, bought it with the intention of seeing it, and I actually never did. So, <laughs> Black Christmas. Um, classic Battle of Britain, very classic war film. The Bridge on the River Kwai. I know this is also, there's another, there's a 4K out there. I don't know, I, I really enjoy the Blu-ray though. You know, it's is it really worth that particular movie to upgrade to 4K? Probably not. Uh, the Battle of the Bulge. Black Hawk Down. This is the 4K release. Battle Los Angeles, which I actually really liked. I haven't seen it in 8, 10 years, but I remember really liking it. We have Behind Enemy Lines. Absolute classic. Uh, the 4K of Battleship, another one that I think went under a lot of people's radars. It's much better than people say it is. We have the Basket Case Trilogy. Basket Case. Basket Case 2. And of course, Basket Case 3. The Prodigy. And this is the 4K set of Back to the Future. Alright, so next up is Bad Ronald. A TV movie, I think, from 1978 or so. We have one of my all-time favorite movies, besides horror film, The Breakfast Club. Again, one of my all-time non-horror films. My favorite non-horror films. Uh, believe it or not, Bring It On. One of those random movies that I own that you would never have thought I owned. Black Swan, 2010. We have Basic Instinct, which I have not seen in quite a long time. And this is unopened. I've been meaning to put this one in. Yeah, this Ren uh, movie, Blood Hunters, still in the shrink wrap. I have not seen it personally. Uh, here's another good Christmas film to watch. Better watch out. The twist kind of comes early, um, but it's 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 a really good movie. And next up, we have one of my all-time favorite modern-day indie slasher films, The Barn. This is actually signed by cast and crew. Hopefully, you can see that. I'm trying to go quick here. We have a two-pack of the Butterfly Effect and the Butterfly Effect 2. Also, many people don't realize there's also a Butterfly Effect 3. This also has the film The Broken. Now this is, again, unopened. Still in the shrink wrap. Very classic found footage, The Blair Witch Project. And the sequel, The Blair Witch Project. Well, actually Blair Witch. I shouldn't say The Blair Witch Project. Uh, classic Mr. Bean. Very funny movie, especially the first one here. Kind of underrated. Um, Mr. Bean's Holiday. And what I mean by underrated was it's it's much more funny than people say. You know, uh, I see a lot of people uh, bad-talking the first Mr. Bean film. We have the three-movie collection of Beverly Hills Cop. Believe it or not, unopened here, but uh, Bad Boys 1 and 2. One of those uh, I've been meaning to get to because I also, of course, have Bad Boys for Life which I've not seen yet and I've heard really good word on. It was another really weird film, uh, The Boneyard. Unopened here, not seen it, don't know too much about it. Big Bad Wolves, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually a film out of Israel. Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, uh, Scream Factory's really great special edition. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I mean, it, it's Buffy, what do you expect? Uh, Blood Sucking Bastards. This was a actually kind of a fun little movie. I actually recommend you check this one out. This was actually a really fun movie. Bullet to the Head. Sylvester Stallone. Uh, the ba the Baba Duke, which, uh, as you can see, is in the shrink wrap, which means, yeah, I've actually not seen the Baba Duke yet. And we have the absolute classic, The Burning. This is the Scream Factory version. I also slipped, um, flipped over the artwork to the original artwork there. Then we have a two-movie collection of Blade Runner 
and Blade Runner 2049, we have this movie called The Barber. You know, it's a really cool little thriller. Uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Absolute classic. This is one of those movies that I I opened and never actually seen, but I intended one time on watching it. That is Bleeding Lady. The classic Rodney Dangerfield film. Back to School. Blood Rage, which was when one of my recent Blu-ray updates. We've got the 4K to Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Really great uh, picture quality in that. Well worth the upgrade. We've got Arrow's, Arrow Video's version of The Crazies. And of course, uh, a really underrated remake, underappreciated remake, The Crazies, which I actually went and seen in the th movie theater back when it first came out. We have Camp Wedding. Really cool slasher film. Another one of those indie films. Definitely check it out if you're into slasher. We have the original Carrie classic. And we also have the remake with Chloe Grace Moretz. This is one of the first Blu-rays I actually ever bought. Believe it or not. We have the Chucky set here. We have Cult of Chucky. Nice lenticular cover. And again, you've seen my Critters box set, so of course I have to have Critters Attack. Really cool uh, new modern sequel in the Critters franchise. Again, I think it was one of those movies where it went under a lot of people's radars. A lot of people don't even know they did a Critters movie. Uh, but it's really great to see D. Wallace back. Uh, really recommend you check this one out. And again, you've seen Creep Show that I keep up there. So here is Creep Show 2. I've seen the movie. This particular RLJ release is still in the shrink wrap, but of course I've seen the film. We have the great documentary Just Desserts. Highly recommend if you're a big Creep Show fan to check out this documentary on the franchise. We've got Arrow's Children of the Corn release. This is just the standard Blu-ray. I know they just did a 4K release. Now I'm not going to pull uh, the Children of the Corn sequels out. In fact, they're mostly on DVD. We have all the Children of the Corn films, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, Revelations, Genesis, and... Uh, one that kind of, again, went under everybody's radar was Children of the Corn Runaway, which of the later, the majority of the Children of the Corn sequels actually really happen to like this one. And last but not least, Arrow Video's release of The Chill Factor. We have Cloverfield, which uh, I've seen the film, still in the shrink wrap, but of course I've seen the film. Now a film that I uh, actually own a piece of movie wardrobe out of, 10 Cloverfield Lane. I do own one of the shirts, one of the t-shirts that Mary Elizabeth Winstead wears in this film. Uh, Cloverfield Paradox, which is backwards, but you could see the film. Um, here is the 4K restoration release of Christine. Really great restoration. Looks really great in 4K. We have Stephen King's Cat Eye. Uh, Arrow Video's release of Chud, Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. And the very weird Chud 2 from Vestron. Here's another weird, kind of reminds me in a way of Children of the Corn, but this film's called Come Out and Play. If you're into like Children of the Corn, I would kind of recommend this one for you. Here's Scream Factory's Candyman. Scream Factory's release. I know there's also a 4K out now of, Scream, of Candyman uh, from Scream Factory. I honestly am probably not going to upgrade. We have Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh, and Candyman 3, Day of the Dead, again from Vestron Video. And we do have the very newest one. This is actually the 4K, Candyman, The Crow, and I do have uh, one of the sequels. I think this is, uh, yeah, The Crow, City of Angels, Cooties, which I actually thought was pretty funny, uh, Candy Corn. Really great indie film here. Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. This is one big title, uh, but it's actually quite a, uh, a funny, entertaining film. Uh, and next to that, of course, is Castle Freak. Very underrated uh, full moon 
movie there. We have The Craft, which Scream Factory's new 4K is experiencing um, compression issues. And I don't know. I'm, I'm glad I did not because I originally was pre-ordering the, the Craft on 4K. All right, just to speed things up here, I'm going to go a little quicker, not pull too much out. We've got Commando, Cowboys and Aliens, Cop Out. Really funny movie with uh, Bruce Willis and um, Tracy Morgan. Condemned. Um, Crawl, which is actually really cool. Uh, Clue. We've got Clueless. Believe it or not, I actually own the freaking movie Clueless. <laughs> Career Opportunities. That's a, a, actually a really cool movie with uh, Jennifer Connelly. Class of 1984. Class of 1999. Uh, Vestron released that there. Next to that, of course, is the classic Chopping Mall. We've got Crimson Tide. The Curse and the Curse 2 from Scream Factory. Chernobyl Diaries. Captain Phillips. We've got all three Conjuring movies here. And of course, we've got the Annabelle spinoffs, The Nun, The Curse of La Llorona. Okay, so here we have Cherry Falls, one of my newest movies that I've got into my collection. I've been meaning to see that one. I hear it's a really great slasher film. Next to that is a re really great slasher film, Classic Curtains. Um, Crush, which I've not seen. As you can see, still in the shrink wrap. Uh, I think it's an early 2000s classic to me, Cabin Fever. Con Air, which is uh, probably my favorite Nicolas Cage movie. The Campaign with uh, Will Ferrell. Collateral Damage, really cool Schwarzenegger film. We've got Close Calls. A really cool Bigfoot movie, Cherokee Creek, signed by cast and crew. I've also got the poster signed by cast and crew. Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. Double Team which was a weird movie, let me tell you. Uh, the Dark Half, which I've not seen. Again, still in the shrink wrap, been meaning to check it out. This is actually a Danny Trejo film, Dead in Tombstone. And I think he's also in the sequel as well. Yep, Dead in Tombstone again, or Dead Again in Tombstone. Uh, we have, who did this one? I think Synapse. Uh, yep, uh, their 4K release of Demons 1 and 2. We've got Don't Breathe. This is just the standard Blu-ray. And we have the sequel, Don't Breathe 2 on 4K. Don't Knock Twice. The Day After Tomorrow. We've got the Die Hard set here of the first four films. And the very latest one, so far the last one, A Good Day to Die Hard. Deathgasm, a really cool film. I think out of... Australia or it's New Zealand. I don't remember. Really highly recommend you guys check out Deathgasm. We have this film Detention. Quite a, another really kind of strange film. The Devil's Candy. Dead Silence. I've seen the film. Still in the shrink wrap, but I've seen the film. Uh, used to own the DVD. We have Dark Summer. Dead Ant. Now this actually has Cool Duder in it. Sean Phillips. Nice uh, cameo. Uh, Dolly Deadly, which is signed by some of the cast. Digging Up the Marrow, which I actually found at the Dollar Tree, so I paid a dollar for this. Uh, still in the shrink wrap, still have yet to see it. It's an Adam Green film. Vinegar Syndrome's new Drop Dead Fred release. Uh, classic movie, very funny. Highly recommend you get pick this one up. We have The Dead Don't Die with Bill Murray. Doom. Devil which I've not seen. It's unopened, but I've actually not seen this movie. And uh, Devil's Do, a movie I have seen, and I really just don't remember it. We have The Descent, The Descent 2 on DVD. Dude, Where's My Car? Uh, don't Go in the Woods Alone, the original Dune. Uh, the Criterion Collection of release of Dazed and Confused. Dong Soldiers, uh, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, The Dirty Dozen. Dunkirk and Scream Factory's release of Drag Me to Hell. Deliver Us from Evil. I've actually not seen this one. Donnie Darko. And we've got the sequel, S. Darko, which I've not seen. Still in the shrink wrap. Been told to stay away from it. Uh, we have Deep Blue Sea. Uh, Deep Blue Sea 2. And Deep Blue Sea 3. Believe it or not, this it's a trilogy. Uh, Dark Knight of the Scarecrow which I know recently just got a sequel, and the trailer definitely does not want me to see the sequel. Looks pretty bad. 
District 9, which I hear is going to get a sequel soon. I don't know if that's true or not. I'd be game for a sequel. Uh, we've got, uh, I think this is Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yes, it is. Doom Asylum. This is the Arrow video release. Really cool uh, unknown 80s slasher film. Dirty Grandpa, which I actually thought was kind of funny. The 4K of The Dark Crystal. Damage with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Dark Military. Uh, Demented. One of my all-time favorite uh, Tim Burton movies, Edward Scissorhands. Deepwater Horizon. Edge of the Axe. Again, if you've seen one of my more recent Blu-ray updates, you've seen that. We have Eyes of a Stranger. The 4K of E.T. Really good release, really good uh, update, upgrade and picture quality. We have the Evil Dead 4K as well as the Evil Dead 2 4K. Of course, you have to have Army of Darkness if you have the Evil Dead 1 and 2. And the remake of the Evil Dead, which I actually quite enjoyed. And here's one that uh, a lot of people don't know about. Bruce Campbell played himself in My Name is Bruce. Elizabeth Harvest, which was uh, actually an interesting kind of movie. We've got Easy A with Emma Stone, early 2010s film. The Editor. All right, I'm going to try to speed things up here, guys. We have Echo. We have The Exorcist 1, 2, and 3. Elysium. Exposure. Uh, three film set of The Expendables. The Equalizer 1 and 2. The first Elvira film, Elvira... I think it's Mistress of the Dark. Uh, Enemy of the State. Escape Room. Also, there was a sequel that a lot of people don't didn't really seem to know about. Uh, Tournament of Champions. Not as good as the first film, but actually a really cool sequel. We have, again, Scream Factory's Steelbook of Escape from New York. Sorry for the glare there. We have The, the Faculty. Um, Scream Factory's Steelbook of the Fog. From a Whisper to a Scream. And the classic From Beyond. Alright, so here we have the original Firestarter. I know there's a remake out there. I'll probably stream that, to be honest. Rent it rather than own it. The 4K of The Fifth Element. Criterion's release of Fast Times at Ridgemont High. My favorite kind of coming-of-age teenage film of the 80s. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The Fun House, which is I'm getting ready to upgrade to the 4K when that releases. The Fun House Massacre. Found Footage 3D. Well, unfortunately, backwards here. See, it does have a lenticular cover. Classic 80s slasher, Final Exam. We have the Final Destination. This is the four-film pack. Unopened, but I've seen all the Final Destination films, uh, including Final Destination 5, which is, again... The wrong way. So we have got the Final Destination 5 there. Fright Night. Absolute classic. We have the Fright Night and Fright Night 2 remake. Full Metal Jacket, which I do plan on upgrading to 4K soon. Speaking of 4K, we've got First Blood. And we've got the other Rambo films as well. Right there. We've got Vinegar Syndrome's new 4K release of Flesh Eater really happen to uh, like this one. You know, it's one of those movies that's just so bad it's good. Next up we have Frankenhooker. Awesome comedy horror from the late 80s. Really highly recommend you check that one out. The Final Girls. Uh, Freaks of Nature, which I kind of remember watching, but I don't actually remember too much about it. Friend Request. Another classic, I think, Fargo. The Forest, which I actually went and seen in the cinema, in the theaters. The Fear Footage. The Fear Clinic. Here we have the Fast and Furious 7 movie collection, along with The Fate of the Furious, F9, and Hobbs and Shaw. These are all standard Blu-ray. I know you can get those on 4K. Again, something I'm probably not going to upgrade. Feast, really great movie. Uh, the Final Wish, 
Fight Club, The Final Countdown, which is another film I just added to the collection. There is a 4K of that. I'm probably not going to upgrade. Really cool early 2000s slasher that flew under everyone's radar. Final Stab, The Gunman. And we go into the last couple here, 4Ks actually, of The Goonies. Uh, Ghostbusters 1, 2, the 2016 remake, and Ghostbusters Afterlife. And right here we have Good Morning Vietnam. Okay, so I've moved up to the shelves up here. We have The Gate, really cool late 80s classic. We've got The Gate 2, Get Out, which I've seen, but it's my particular copy is still in the shrink wrap. We've got Goosebumps 1 and 2. I do own both of those. Uh, Ghosts of Mars, really uh, kind of average John Carpenter early 2000s film, but George, a zombie intervention. Grace, which was kind of a creepy kind of movie. Uh, Vestron Video's release of Gothic, which I've actually not seen. Uh, Arrow's new Girls Night Out release. Really cool uh, 80s slasher film that a lot of people don't know about. Speaking of 80s slashers, Vinegar Syndrome's release of Graduation Day. We've got Green Room, which I've actually not seen. So people keep telling me to check that one out. We've got The Gallows, a uh, really horrible <laughs> uh, found footage film from a couple years ago. We've got Galaxy Quest, Galaxy of Terror, Galaxy of Horrors. There's a lot of galaxy here. We've got um, The Ghoulies 1 and 2. This is the Scream Factory double feature. We have, of course, Ginger Snaps and the two sequels on DVD. Another random movie I, I own, The Girl Next Door. But uh, The Great Outdoors, classic uh, Dan Aykroyd, John Candy. We've got Grease. I've been looking to upgrade this to 4K. I don't know if I'm going to or not. But uh, another classic of favorite of mine, John Wayne Wise, The Green Berets. Geostorm, which I thought was a really cool kind of, uh, again, natural disaster type movie a couple years ago. The Green Inferno, which uh, of course is the wrong side. Um, ghosts, ghost stories, which I've actually not seen. Sorry for the ambulance going by. Uh, we've got Gamera, which I think this is the first four films. Then we have the last four films of the kind of the original era. We have the trilogy from the 90s. And then because I have that Godzilla set, as you've seen earlier, we go into the later Godzilla films, Godzilla 1984. Godzilla vs. Biollante. And as you can see, I, there's just so many Godzilla and King Kong. and uh, I own them all. <laughs> so let's go right into... We've got Mothra. We go, He Knows You're Alone. Uh, the Haunting in Connecticut, which I actually thought was a really cool film. We've got The Haunting in Connecticut 2, Ghosts of Georgia. Totally makes sense, right? The Haunting in Connecticut 2... Ghost of Georgia, yeah. Anyway, happy birthday to me. Really great classic 80s slasher. You guys know, as you could tell, me and my slashers, The House on Sorority Row, and the semi kind of remake of Sorority Row, The Haunting of Sharon Tate, which uh, has its fans. I was not a huge fan of this film. Really cool French film from the early 2000s, High Tension. Now, I used to watch this film on Blu-ray before upgrading, or on DVD, before upgrading to the Blu-ray. I have seen the film. Mine is in the shrink wrap. Highly recommend you check that one out. We've got Howl, which was a really cool werewolf movie out of the UK. Um, the 4K set of all eight Harry Potter films. We also have the 4Ks for the uh, Fantastic Beasts films. The Hole, which was a Joe Dante film. I believe this was actually PG-13. But uh, I remember it being kind of a, a cool little a cool little movie. Next up, we have Hobo with a Shotgun. Hamburger Hill, classic 80s war film from the uh, Vietnam era. The Horseman. Uh, Hurricane Heist, which is, I've heard, as you can see, unopened, never seen it. I was told it was like one of those really, like, just, you know, fun action flick you put on with friends. And we've got the Hannibal Lecter collection. This is um, Manhunter, The Silence of the Lambs, and Hannibal. Hold Your Breath, which is actually an Asylum movie, but I think it's pretty original to me. Uh, I don't know if this one particular release movie was trying to, you know, 
uh, rip off any other movie. It's kind of kind of original to me. So in terms of Asylum, you know, this is probably one of their uh, better films in my opinion. Hudson Hawk, which was not a good movie, <laughs> but it is Bruce Willis. We have the 4K of Hocus Pocus. Got the Hunger Games films here. We've got all four of those. Hangman, which was a really uh, kind of really well done uh, found footage movie. Heavy Metal, very uh, adult cartoon type movie from the early 80s. We've got Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Another random movie again. Like I said, just one of those random movies I own. The House Bunny. It's Anna Faris. You know, why not? Um, the Hills Have Eyes. This is Arrow Video's release. I know there's a 4K out there now of this. I'm probably not going to upgrade, to be honest. The Hills Have Eyes 2. And the very misleading The Hills Have Eyes 3. This was marketed as a Hills Have Eyes sequel. Uh, it's really not, but it, the original title was Mind Ripper. We've got The Hills Have Eyes 1 and 2. Um, the remakes. We have Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters, and this really random film, which is still in the shrink wrap. I've not seen it. Uh, Hansel and Gretel Get Baked, which I think is some kind of like 420 comedy film. So I, I'm serious. Um, Hansel and Gretel Get Baked. We have Hitchcock, which was the dramatization of Alfred Hitchcock making Psycho. The House on Haunted Hill. Backwards here, but Scream Factory release. As well as the Return to House on Haunted Hill. Honestly, probably not a good movie. Hostel 1 and 2. The House at the End of the Street. Hell Comes to Frogtown, which was one of those childhood movies I remember seeing. And I just it's one of those I just have to own. We've got Hardcore Henry. And the last for this shelf, Hacksaw Ridge. So we have Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. Really great classic. Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to You. Uh, the House is October Built. And then I also have the sequel, The House is October Built 2. Um, the sequel, uh, you know, it, it was just kind of repetitive. So it was kind of the same thing all over again. Hard Bodies. Hellfest. Uh, the Hills Run Red. Again, if you've seen this, let me know. Because I've been wanting to check this one out for a while. Hell Knight which uh, is the Scream Factory release. Harvest, or The Harvest. The Haunting of Whaley House, which again, I think Cool Duder kind of shows up in this one. We've got the, the Hollow. Hereditary, which I've actually not seen, so. Uh, again, with the Hellraiser set being kind of out in the open, here's the rest of the Hellraiser films. Um, this is Bloodlines, Inferno, Hellseeker, and Hellworld. We've got Revelations, sadly. And actually, probably one of my favorite Hellraiser sequels was Hellraiser Judgment. Uh, the Haunting of Molly Hartley on DVD. And the sequel, The Exorcism of Molly Hartley. Uh, the House by the Cemetery. This is uh, Blue Underground's 4K release. Got all the Hatchet movies. Hatchet 1, 2, and 3. And Victor Crowley. We've got The Host, which uh, I've actually not seen yet. But I've been told that it's actually a really cool one. The Innkeepers, which uh, I just kind of keep it just to kind of have a Blu-ray. Um, just to add a number, it's really not a good movie. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome's release of Ice Cream Man, absolute classic. And Independence Day and Independence Day Resurgence. I know there's 4Ks for those. Again, probably not going to upgrade. We've got all four Insidious movies here. Uh, Insidious 1, 2, and Chapter 3, and The Last Key, the very latest one. Here is Olive Film's release of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and Kino Lorber's 4K release for the 1977 remake. And we have Body Snatchers, the 1993 sequel, and the most newest remake, I think came out in about 2006, The Invasion. That's Nicole Kidman and uh, Daniel Craig. Incarnate, you can see I paid three dollars for it at Big Lots. Uh, it waits, a really cool movie. Check this one out, guys. This this is uh, really well done, in my opinion. It's from a movie from about 15 years ago, the original It, the television series, It Chapter One and Chapter Two, standard Blu-ray. I know there's of course 4Ks for that. Don't know if I'm really going to upgrade or not. Um, I'm contemplating it. Here's the 4K set for Indiana Jones, 
This is the complete four movie collection. I Spit on Your Grave on Blu-ray. And the very newest one, I Spit on Your Grave, Deja Vu. The, pretty much the official sequel. And then we have the three remake movies. I Spit on Your Grave, I Spit on Your Grave 2, and 3. All right, so that was my first uh, part of my Blu-ray collection overview video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys return for part two.